and welcome back to Hatching Chicks. I'm Melanie Brooke, the Education Program Coordinator for Les Hills Agriculture in the Classroom. We're so happy you decided to come join us again today. Today is episode 11, incubation day 17 of our chick hatch cycle. If you're watching, please go ahead and place in the comments below where you're watching from, and we like to see those thumbs up for our return visitors. Like I said, today is day 17 of the egg incubation time. We now only have 24 hours left until we're going to go into lockdown and four days on average until it's time to hatch. So the embryo is now definitely a chick and it continues to grow in size so that it's almost filling the entire egg at this point. If we could open the egg today, we would see the yolk on either side of the chick. We would see some fairly large blood vessels and the chick itself covered in a wet down and wrapped inside the membrane. The chick is almost fully developed and is beginning to get itself ready to hatch. The intestines are still being drawn into the stomach and the kidneys are beginning to function. The egg white has been completely absorbed and the chick will start to ingest the yolk between now and hatch day. Now who remembers what the egg white is called? If you said albumin, then you're right. So here's what the egg might look like today. The chick inside the egg, almost completely filling the shell and still wrapped in membrane that will completely surround the chick. Now we've talked a little bit about lockdown, so I'm gonna tell you about what it means to lock down the incubator. Lockdown is simply the word used to describe the time when the egg incubator has its settings that are optimized and ready for hatch. The eggs are not turned or candled and the incubator is left with its lid closed until after the chicks have hatched. We have to create a non-slip surface for the eggs. So what we'll be doing is cutting a mat and setting it inside of the incubator. Now, the baby chicks, when they first hatch, they're kind of wobbly and as they walk around, if their legs slip and slide, they'll have a condition called splay leg. And that can be prevent, or that can be fixed, but it's better to prevent that. So we'll take some shelf liner and cut a circle out and set that inside the incubator. We also need to candle the eggs. What I'm going to do is mark the air cell so that we can see when the chicks start to pip, we need to make sure that pipping point is just inside the air cell. Otherwise, our chick might need a little bit of help to hatch. We're going to go ahead and add the water to increase the humidity. On the side of our egg incubator is that chamber that we fill the water and inside the water pot. So we have been keeping one half of the water pot full. Tomorrow, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that both sides of that water pot are completely full in order to have optimum humidity for the chick hatch. If that membrane gets too dry around the chick, then the chick won't be able to break through it and, and it, couldn't, it, it could possibly not survive. We're also gonna to have to stop our automatic turning from happening. So the eggs no longer need to be rotated from one side to the other, they need to just stay in a still position. The chick is working its way into that optimum hatching position. It's got its right wing up and its beak tucked underneath its right wing. Its legs are down in order to get ready to pip through the shell and to stretch its body out in order to separate that shell as it starts to crack. The last thing we need to do is close the lid and that's it. The eggs will need to stay in one position and the lid will need to be remain closed until the chicks are ready to be removed. We'll take the chicks out when they're, um, when they're fluff, when they're down is completely fluffy and they're completely dried off. Well, that's all I've learned about for lockdown day. If you've ever hatched eggs before and you've got some tips that you'd like to share, feel free to do so in the comments below. Tomorrow I'll be posting a video of me preparing the incubator for lockdown and then I'll join you again live at 1.30. See you then.